the decline of the Harappan culture. The city of Harappa was divided into two parts. The citadel, which was home to the great public bath, two large assembly halls and residential buildings that housed around 5,000 people. The lower city was laid out in a grid-like pattern. Most people lived here and seemed to have been traders or artisans. The people of Harappa resided with others who were in the same profession as theirs. A variety of artifacts found suggest that the people of Harappa had a wide range of occupations. Goods made in the Indus Valley travelled as far as Mesopotamia, Afghanistan and other parts of India. Extensive agricultural production and trade with Sumer in southern Mesopotamia supported life at Harappa. Wheat, rice and a variety of vegetables and fruits were cultivated. The city had good irrigation systems and flood control measures in place. But in spite of this, evidence suggests that Mohenjo-daro was destroyed by severe floods and rebuilt seven times. The people of Harappa seem to have lived peaceful lives with little fear of invasion. When the Aryans arrived from the northwest, they hardly encountered any resistance. The Harappan people were overpowered by their superior military skills. Archaeologists R.D. Banerjee and Sir John Marshall rediscovered this historic site in the 1920s. A number of artifacts were excavated from the area. The humped Brahmani bull seal, Pashupati, the priest king statue.